Hi guys, Bill McGrath here. My third uh, of my sharpening videos. Uh, the grind I'm going to start with is a Scandi grind. And the reason I'm starting with that is the Scandi grind has a single bevel. It goes all the way down from the thickness of the blade stock right down to the cutting edge. And uh, that kind of gives you a built-in angle guide. You kind of feel where the bevel is real easily because it's so large. Um, so that's a good grind to start learning how to sharpen on. We're going to start with carbon steel. It's uh, usually uh, plain carbon steel is less abrasive resistant than uh, good quality stainless. So again, a little easier to sharpen or learn how to sharpen. And um, we're starting on a thin piece of blade stock or a thin knife. So you have two Scandi grinds here, Scandinavian grind knives or flat grind knives. This is a Mora Clipper. This is a Condor Woodcraft knife. The Mora Clipper, you can see the very thin blade. I believe it's underneath an inch. The um, Condor is 3 sixteenths in stock. And even though they both have a flat single grind, that's Scandinavian grind or Scandi grind, the thinner more knife is going to be a little easier to learn on because that thin edge is a little more forgiving in your technique than a uh, thick stock knife. So we'll start with this blade. So let's get started. I'm going to use that uh, Smith tri -hone I showed you in the previous video. Uh, it's, it's a good basic kit, not expensive and easy kit to learn how to sharpen on. Um, the coarse stone, let's get that wet. You really got to soak that because it's much more porous than the natural Arkansas stones. So go ahead and get that good and wet. Uh, again, I'm using simple green instead of an oil. It's easier to clean up and uh, easier to keep the stone free from buildup of uh, fine particles. So let's start the sharpening. Uh, I want you to start actually laying the knife flat on the stone and then tilting up and finding that bevel. And since it's just one uh, wide bevel there, you should have an easy time finding it. And go all the way across. Pick it up, go back, go to the flat, tilt over, find the bevel again, all the way across. And do that five or ten times on one side. And same number on the other. Keep it short. I'll probably use 10 to really sharpen it. We'll use 5 here just to get everything to fit inside the uh, length of a YouTube video. So again, I'm going from the flat blade stock, tilting up to find the bevel, all the way across, pick it right up straight, move it over, down, find the flat, find the bevel, over. Same thing on the other side. Take your time, no big rush. You're training yourself to find that bevel when you first start learning. All right, so we've gotten as far down as we can before we get to that curvature on the uh, near the tip. What you're going to do from here, find the flat, find the bevel, but instead of going straight across, you're going to go from one corner to the other, making a slice across the blade. Because of that curvature on the tip, you need to do that to uh, maintain contact with the edge, with the bevel there. So, just sweep it across nice and easy. Flat, bevel, sweep. Flat, bevel, sweep. Flat, bevel, sweep. Same number on the other side. And you'll see me sometimes, depending on the, how thick the uh, handle is, sometimes use my thumb a little more control here. Sometimes my forefinger on big blades, I can simply hold it in my hand. Depends on the size of the handle and the size of uh, um, you know, your own hands. Okay, so we've done each section individually. Now go ahead and find that bevel and just do a few sweeps on each side just to homogenize that whole edge, get everything nice and even all the way across.
All right, now we're going to go over to the medium stone. This is a natural Arkansas stone, so it shouldn't take much uh, lubrication on it to get it wet. Find the flat, find the bevel. This time, you're going to start with that whole complete sweep of the blade. Find the flat bevel, sweep, flat bevel, sweep, flat bevel, sweep. And again, what you're doing here is training yourself to maintain a consistent bevel, so take your time. You're not in a rush. And what you're doing in this process is really just taking out the scratches from the coarse stone. You're not doing a lot of cutting at this point. Most of your work for getting a bevel is done on that coarse stone. Oh, and how do you tell you're ready to move from stone to stone? Go ahead and take your thumbnail and just run the blade across it like that. And it should, the knife should bite. The cutting edge should bite all the way across your thumbnail and bite with a similar consistency of grab on that thumbnail. I'm not slicing the thumbnail. I'm just scraping the cutting edge, not 90 degrees, but a shallow angle. So I'm getting, it's definitely grabbing into my thumbnail. All right, so I've done equal number on either side. Go over to my fine. Take the simple green on there. Find the flat, find the bevel, over. Find the flat, find the bevel, and sweep. Find the flat, find the bevel, and sweep. Now what you're doing at this point is taking off the medium sized scratches from the medium stone. Flat, bevel, sweep. Flat, bevel, sweep. Flat, bevel, sweep. So you've done a similar number of strokes on each side. Your bite and your thumbnail, the cutting edge bite and your thumbnail seems consistent. If you get a spot where it it slides, bites, 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 open, just slides off easily. Then you know you haven't really got the two edges to meet. Well, there's a little bit of a gap there, or maybe the burr has rolled over. So you might go back a previous stone coarseness and redo that section. So let's see. If, say everything looks good at that point. Because a Scandi grind, that flat grind there, is used a lot for wood cutting. Um, you know, for camping, you might be making traps or making notches in different pieces of wood to make pot hangers or whatnot. Uh, it's a push cut type of grind. You're going to head, want to head and polish that edge to make sure the wire burr is not there. So get yourself a strop. You can uh, either buy a commercial one or uh, take a piece of hardwood, glue a piece of leather to it and put black uh, grinding compound on there. You'll find a grinding compound where the buffing wheels are sold at the hardware store. One of this in previous video, but um, you can even use a piece of uh, cardboard. Throw some uh, uh, buffing compound on that. It's disposable. Use it once, throw it out. You don't have to get too fancy with these things. Uh, one mistake people make is they push down too hard on this. There's a very fine wire edge. Think of of uh, my hand being the cutting edge of the knife, and then little tiny little wires or burrs of steel. In the cutting process are left along there. What you're doing with uh, the uh, stropping, you're just taking away that wire edge so a nice, clean, consistent, smooth edge. So you don't want to go too hard because that point, the uh, cutting edge on that Scandi grind is not well supported. You don't want to press so hard that you roll over that cutting edge. So find the flat, find the bevel, and just back off like that moving as if you were buttering bread. You're moving the opposite direction as you did on the stone. Just as if you were buttering bread. You don't have to go crazy with it. All I'm going to do is remove that wire edge of the burr. Uh, another mistake people make, they think in the barber shop, they flick their hand over on the end. Go across, take it directly up, then turn over. You don't want to roll your edge over, especially on a thin blade like this uh, Mora. You don't want to roll that edge. So if you're going to make, you're going to error. Error on the side of a little too light is better than a little too heavy. Pick it all the way off, up off the uh, 
strap and then turn over. Don't flick like uh, you see barbers do in the movies. Just pick it up and turn. Pick it up and turn. Um, you only want to do this action, call it buttering bread or whatnot, moving the blade away from the cutting edge on a strop. You don't want to do that on a stone because a stone is more grabby, it's more coarse. Do that on a stone and you can actually pull pieces of the edge off with the uh, stone. So, take thin slices with the stone, move in that direction, but when you strop, move this direction. Don't move this direction like you're buttering a piece of bread with a stone or you might damage your edge. Uh, and that's your basic sharpening with this. It's a pretty easy uh, grind to sharpen. Um, after stropping, you want to go ahead and check out that edge because sometimes, like in this case, nice and consistent, except right over here doesn't bite as well. And a lot of times you only discover your weak points and where you've sharpened uh, after stropping, you've taken that wire edge off. So when I go back to sharpen this, I'm going to go back to this base area here and start off with the coarse ground and just work this edge a little bit right in that area and resharpen this. The rest of it feels very good. It bites nicely. That'll carve wood nicely, uh, cut tomatoes or vegetables or whatnot. Um, go ahead and wash off the uh, soap from here. Throw a little vegetable oil on to preserve it and you're ready to go. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you next time.